Okay, we've got a few more examples just to get you used to this. And you may recall that this is very similar to the uh, complex equations example one that we did, except we've tagged an x on the right side of the equation here. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, it's the exact same as in the first um, example. We're going to foil out the left side. So I y squared is equal to x plus i y times x plus i y. So x times x is x squared. x times i y is plus i x y. Then again, we're going to get another i x y. And finally, we're going to have i squared y squared. And recall that so we're going to end up with i squared y squared. And recall that i squared is just negative 1. Uh, there we go. And uh, so this will just be minus y squared. And so you can rewrite this again as x squared plus 2i xy minus y squared. So now we are just going to uh, rewrite this equation over here and then we're going to group the terms, the imaginary terms with i and we're going to group the real terms without i. So this is now equal to x squared plus 2iy minus y squared which equals 2ix. So we're going to group the real terms together. Then we're going to group the imaginary terms together and that's going to give us two equations. So we have x squared minus y squared equals zero, which is equation one. And for equation two, we will have the imaginary terms together. So two i y equals two i x and i's are going to cancel. And so now that we have it in this uh, form we can see that from the second uh, equation is true if x equals 0 so true if x equals 0 or oh I, I see I actually missed a, an x here um, so there should be an x here. Okay, I think that's the only spots. 2ixy, 2ixy, yeah, okay, should be good. So the second equation is true if x equals 0 or if y equals 1. So if y is 1, then we have 2x and 2x, but if x is 0, then 0 is equal to 0. And now, for the first equation, we can see that the first equation is true if y equals 1, then x equals plus or minus 1. And also, uh, if x equals 0, then y equals 0. And therefore, there are three points satisfying this given equation. And those three points are going to be... Uh, let's label it out. So x, y. And the three points are going to be 0, 0, or 1, 1 or negative 1, 1. And that is your final answer there. Okay, now in this second equation, um, you know, when you first think of this, you think maybe I'm going to take the conjugate of the bottom, but actually, you don't need to do that. Uh, just using simple algebra, we can just multiply both sides of the equation by the uh, denominator. So we're going to get x plus i y equals 
negative i times x minus i y. And then we'll get rid of that negative sign in front of the i, so this is we'll multiply it out. So we're gonna be left with negative i x minus i squared y and i squared is negative one um, or sorry this is minus i minus i so this is actually positive here okay so x plus i y equals negative i x and i squared is negative one so just negative y and then we're going to equate the imaginary terms together and the real terms and so with the, uh, the real terms, we've got x and we've got y. So we have the real part is going to be x equals negative y. And the imaginary parts here, uh, we're going to get ix or iy equals negative ix. So i's will cancel and we'll have y equals negative x and thus all points on this line here so thus all points just short for points on the line x plus y equals zero are solutions of the equation. So that's our final answer right there. Okay, hopefully, hopefully this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, pre please feel free to ask. Thank you, have an excellent day.